Let's see, job section, job section, uh... Oh, hi guys! Sorry, I'll be with you in just a moment. I have to get a job to support Bering's hookers and blow habit. <laughs> Love that bear. Ah, okay, here we go. Hmm, garbage collector. Nah, no way. Too fucking dirty. Let the men handle that. Brick labourer? Mm, way too physical. I don't want to break a nail or sweat too much and shit. Club bouncer? Ew, no. I don't want to put myself in danger and touch gross, privileged men. Where's all the cushy jobs where feminists actually give a shit about gender equality? Ah, oh, okay, here we go. Cushy as fuck, non-dangerous, period leave bonus managerial position. We're looking for a strong, critical thinker capable of leading a large team. Oh dear. That sounds way too masculine and off-putting. It scares me. There must be a more female-friendly worded advert in here somewhere. Ah oh, yes, perfect. We're looking for a bubbly, able-minded victim. Capable of nurturing a not too intimidating number of friendly people. That's it, that's the one. I'm so glad that there are companies actively taking charge to employ more women using female-friendly words. Just Fucking kidding, guys. <laughs> That's so funny. The last time I heard that, I laughed so hard I fell off my dinosaur. Stop right now, all right? Let's just back off. Well, I was only trying to lead into today's topic. Fuck you, you big fat curly headed fuck. All right, okay, just look, you know what? I... Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today is an article I found that discussed how companies should use more female friendly wording in their job adverts to attract more women to apply for the positions. Another condescending suggestion that perpetuates this women are victims mentality in order to combat gender inequality in the workplace. Before we turn me. To improve gender equality at work, change the language of job posts. What a crock of shit. Firstly, good luck trying to get women to apply for jobs in industries they don't want to fucking work in. And secondly, if women are really too piss weak that certain words make applying for a job they would want seem too scary or intimidating, then they'll probably be shit at the job anyway. That, and they need to harden the fuck up. But I think this is just your typical SJW crap that sees women as victims who need special treatment. And it's really quite insulting. This notion that the only way we can get more women in the workforce is to coddle them into applying for the position with happy female friendly words. Fuck your coddling. I'm sorry ladies, but if you're ready to have equality, you're gonna need to lift your game to play on the same level as men, not have men lower their standards to accommodate for your fragility. Women are ambitious, competitive and dominant. Yeah, unless you put those fucking words in a job application. Then they shit themselves, right? Still, research shows that go-getting ladies don't apply for jobs that advertise those requirements. Change the language of the ads and it will attract women, says Santander UK chairwoman Shiriti Shit Shitty Vajera. It's fashionable to put the onus on women to lean in and be more confident. They should be more fucking confident. The banking chief told a crowd at the FT Women at the Top conference in London on September 30. But companies need to take some responsibility too. No, they fucking don't. They should, Videra said, re-examine job posting vocabulary because certain words can be off-putting like using ambitious, dominant and competitive. Stop making women into helpless victims. We got equality. We got the chance to compete with men on the same level. Yes, take charge and be more confident. Own your shit. Grab onto your lady balls, dismiss special treatment because apparently you pathetic weak women need it and play with the big boys. And fuck right off if you say playing with the big boys is an offensive statement to women. There is support for this claim. 
A study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology in 2013 investigated ads for jobs in traditionally male fields, like plumbing, engineering and programming, to see if they use stereotypically male words like competitive, dominant and leader, and if those words dissuaded women from applying. Kill me. Researchers compared over 4,000 job ads, then they asked women to respond to the postings. They found that masculine wording in job advertisements leads to a less anticipated belongingness and job interest amongst women. The study proposed that this phenomenon perpetuates gender inequality in male-dominated fields, maintaining the status quo. Oh god, it's always some socially constructed bullshit, isn't it? Oh, women aren't applying to be plumbers and programmers. It has to be that they're triggered by the masculine wording in job adverts. It can't be that most women would prefer to not dig through shit and sewage all day, or pour all their heart and soul into programming a game that stupid feminist cunts will rip the shit out of and reduce into an example of sexist attitudes towards women because some fat uptight minger at home is jealous of Catwoman's tits. The solution to the language problems in job postings can be solved, however, Simard told Quartz in an email. It is best addressed by seeking gender-neutral words that are less associated with stereotypical attributes. Companies like Twitter, Atlassian, I may have said that wrong, Starbucks, Square and Microsoft are working on developing job ads that bring in women candidates using a machine learning platform that analyzes job listings for meaningful language patterns. So here's an example of an application used by Twitter and Microsoft, etc. Textio is an app that reviews the words used in your job advert and tells you if they're likely to be off-putting towards women. Change the word manage to nurture to attract more women. Does anyone else see how fucking insulting this shit is? This company is probably making a fortune off hypersensitive moronic snowflakes that literally don't have the balls to apply for a position because of scary words. So this led me to wonder, what kinds of words are actually scary and deterring women from applying? Here is a job posting for a mechanical engineer at a top firm. This is supposed to be an example of an advert that uses stereotypically masculine words, which could inadvertently deter women from applying. Apparently there are 10 words to spot. I read through this a few times and honestly, I struggled to find one word that would put me off. I think I chose the word strong after frustration set in. But I didn't even get that one right. I'll give you all a minute to read through it and see if you did any better than me. Here are the words that are deemed masculine. Dominant, boasting, determined, lead, challenging, competition, superior, decisive, independently and competitive. And here are the feminine words that could be used to replace them. Committed, connected, cooperative, Dependable, interpersonal, loyal, responsible, supportive, trust, and considerate. This just seems dumb as fuck to me. I really don't know where they pull this crap from. It seems like a kick in the balls or vag to me to say that men are perceived as more superior and boasting than women, or that women are perceived as more responsible and considerate than men. So here we are in our oversensitive generation of crybabies and would-be victim softcocks, where women's personal life choices are ignored so that we can blame the lack of females in certain industries on patriarchal oppression, where we can place the blame on words for an individual's lack of drive to pursue a career, where women will always need special treatment in order to compete with men. If feminism keeps painting women as victims that need constant help to compete, how the fuck can we ever consider the genders truly equal? Tits.